Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! Four Carnival cruise passengers get arrested on the Carnival celebration on deportation day due to the fact that it wasn't for fighting. It was for what? Credit card fraud. And this group of four people racked up tens of thousands of dollars in purchases, casino stuff that they did. So this group planned this whole scheme to go onto the cruise and try to get off with money with all these credit cards, right? They had like counterfeit credit cards and the whole thing, they had this whole scheme going on and they racked up $10,000, $20,000 in credit card debt and this is, was not their credit cards. It was counterfeit. So what they did was they bought a lot of stuff. And in the casino, now you're in the casino, you're at the table. I'm going to get chips. Boom. So I think they did about 11000 One person actually did $11,000 in chips, cashed it out, right? Then took the cash, put it in the suitcase. But how did... They get caught. How did the red flag go off about it? So it was simple. The credit card that they used, that they had a file, they even used it to pay for the cruise, right? It actually got declined at some point during the cruise. So now the red flag went off because the credit card got declined. And the cruise, Carnival Cruise Line, wanted to see the credit card, so maybe they could probably swipe it. But... They did not have the credit card on them, and that's when the red flags went off. As they got off the cruise ship on deportation day, customs searched their bag. They found the $11,000 in the suitcase, and they were arrested by the Miami-Dade police, where now they are waiting to face trial. And the bonds for these individuals are ranging from sixteen dollars to $26,000 per person and in february of 2023 a similar incident happened on a royal ship the oasis of the sea so this is just proof that shows you that you know if you do the crime you're gonna do the time and another thing is a lot of people don't realize that oh they just think that oh i'm in the middle of the ocean i can commit a crime i can commit fraud credit card fraud commit all these crimes and nothing's gonna happen but that's where you're wrong because you know what? You will go to jail. So you're going to go to jail either at the home port or at the next port that you are going to. And if they send you prison at the next port, you know, you can be go going to jail in a country that is not good for criminals. And on top of that, cruising is meant to be a fun place for family, friends, or if it's a single cruise for the single people, depending on the theme of the cruise. But it's really for friends or family and everybody just to meet strangers and just have a good old time. Not go there and use someone else's money that you did not earn. Someone else's hard-earned money now. Obviously, it was the credit cards, but still, they worked their butt off to get all that credit. And now it's going to be in a pain neck to get that money back for them. And, you know, it's just a pain because now their identity is stolen. And now if they're even thinking about maybe trying to purchase a house or something, their credit is going to go down because of this. So if anybody out there who is a lawyer can tell me how much time are they looking at. And if you're not, tell me how much time do you think is right for a crime like this? Obviously, it's not drugs. It's credit card fraud. And you know crimes like this don't get, like, 50 years, right? I'm going to say it's 10, 20,000. So I'm going to probably say they're probably going to get like five to 10 years. I mean, you know, I think that they should get more. Maybe the, the mastermind of it all should definitely get a lot more. Well, thank you for watching my show today. And don't forget, every Friday and Wednesday, I have a live stream. Wednesday, 8 p.m., Friday at 7 p.m. Okay. And until next time, everybody, safe travels.